Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to make this scarf. So I created this pattern to have honeycomb stitch in the middle, followed by some piping, and then we go into the lark's foot track stitch, and then it ends again with a piping. It is super, super easy and fun to make, and it's also very versatile because you can also use this pattern to make blankets, cardigans, or sweaters. But today I'll just show you how to make the basic pattern and I use this to make a scarf for winter. For this tutorial, I will be using medium weight for yarn with a six millimeter hook. So to begin this scarf pattern, you're gonna go ahead and chain 35. One, two, three, four, five. So go ahead, continue making your chain of 35 and I will meet you back. After chaining 35, you're going to go into the second chain from your hook and place a single crochet. So if you've watched some of my videos before, you know that I prefer to go to the back bump to place my crochets. But if you want to go through the front of the chains, that's okay too. So I'm going to continue placing one single crochet in every single stitch until I reach the end of this row. So after placing a single crochet into every single stitch, you should end up with 35 stitches. So to begin the next row, you are going to chain one and flip your work. Place a single crochet into the first four stitches of this row. That's one, two, three, and four. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip a stitch and into the next four stitches, place a single crochet. So skip this one and into the second one from there, place a single crochet and you're gonna continue placing one single crochet in the next four stitches. From here, you're going to chain one you're gonna skip the next stitch and in the next two stitches, you will be placing one single crochet. So skip this one and into the second and third, place one single crochet each. Chain one, skip the next stitch and in the next two stitches, place one single crochet. It's one and two. Chain one, skip the next stitch and in two and three, place one single crochet each one and two chain one skip the next stitch and in stitches two and three place one single crochet each chain one again skip the next one and in the next two place a single crochet each Chain up one, skip the next stitch, and in the next four stitches, place one single crochet. So skip this one, and in, in the next four, place one each. One, two, three, four. Chain one, you're gonna skip one, and in the last four stitches of this row, you will be placing one single crochet each. So skip this one, and into the last four, one single crochet each. And this is what your pattern should look like. You can't see it just looking at it, but you have these chain spaces scattered throughout this row. To begin the next row, chain one and turn. And in the first stitch, place one single crochet. Into the next stitch, we will be creating our piping right here. So in order to do that, you are going to make be making a front post double crochet. So that means you will be going to the very first row right here. So this is the row we're working in now, but you're gonna be looking here. You're going to find the second stitch. So this is the, the turning stitch, so we won't count that. This is the first stitch, and this is the second one. You will be placing a front post double crochet in this second stitch. So to make a front post double crochet, you're gonna yarn over, sink your hook behind that stitch and come back up on the left so that the post is in front of your hook. And you're gonna complete 
a, a double crochet. Just like that. So after creating your front post double crochet, we will now be moving on into creating this lark, the lark's foot stitch track right here. So in order to do that, you are going to be making front post treble crochets. So it's the same thing as the front post double crochet, except you're just going to yarn over an extra, an extra time. So to, to start your front post treble crochet, yarn over your hook twice. You're going to find this stitch right here. So remember in the previous row when we did a chain one and we skipped one? So this, if you look closely, is the stitch that you hopped over. So we made a chain one, skip one, and that was the skip stitch that we did. So that means you're going to be front post treble crocheting into that. And to do that, you're going to go beneath that stitch and up. So you see it's right there. So let me show you again. I'm going to go underneath that skip stitch and come up the top. And I'm going to continue with my front post treble. So I'm going to grab my yarn. I'm going to pull up, yarn over. I'm going to pull through two loops, pull through the next two, and then pull through the last two. And that is your front post treble. So now we're going to be working into the regular row that we started with and we're going to be placing a single crochet. But note that every time you make any front post stitches, you're going to be skipping the same amount of stitches in your regular row. So since we made two back to back with no stitches in between, so that's just two, we're going to be skipping the next two stitches in our current row. So that means you're going to skip this one and you're going to skip this one. So if you look here, this was the first single crochet that we made into the current row. These two belong to the front post stitches that we just made. So that means when we make a single crochet, we're going to go into this one right here. So place a single crochet there. From here, you're going to chain one and you're going to skip the next stitch, which is right here. And you're going to single crochet into the stitch after that. Now, if you look here, we only have one side of the Lark's foot track stitch completed. So that means we're going to go back into that same skip stitch that we just placed a front post treble in. And we're going to place the second half of our Lark's foot stitch in there. So after single crocheting here, again, you're going to yarn over twi twice for a front post treble. You're going to find that skip stitch again. It's going to be a little bit awkward, but as you continue with this pattern, it will become more natural. And you're going to go underneath it again just like that. So if you can see, it's right there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue with my front post treble. So I'm gonna grab the yarn, pull it through. I'm gonna yarn over again, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. So now you created your first Lark's foot track stitch right here. Okay, to create our next front post double crochet, you will be going directly into a stitch from the foundation right here. And to find the next stitch that you're supposed to be at, go back to your first front post double crochet right here, and you're gonna count six stitches. So if this is the stitch we entered, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that means this is the stitch you are going to be front post double crocheting in. So after creating this front post treble right here, you're going to go yarn over, you're going to go underneath that sixth stitch, you're going to come up so that it's in front of your hook, and you're going to continue with a regular double crochet. Just like that. So now we've started the border of our scarf and you will be starting every single row this way and also ending every single row this way. And eventually, this is what it will look like. So you see you have the, the piping and then you have the lark's foot track stitch and then the piping again. So now we're going to be working into the honeycomb pattern. Okay, so after creating this piping, you are going to be single crocheting into the current row. But again, since we just made two front post stitches, you're going to be skipping two in the back and you're going to be finding the next one. 
So if this right here is the last stitch that we went into, you're going to be skipping the next two, which is this one and this one. So that means into this one, you will be placing a single crochet and place one more single crochet in this chain one space right here. Okay, so now we're gonna place another front post double crochet to start our honeycomb pattern. So you're gonna yarn over and from this last front post double crochet right here, you are gonna find the second chain or the second stitch from it. So if this is your original chain right here, you're gonna go one, two, and there's the second one. So that means you will be placing a front post double crochet there. So again, go underneath that stitch and come back up and continue with a double crochet. Just like that. Okay, so after that, you're gonna be skipping three chains from the bottom right here and you will be placing another front post double crochet. So with no chains in between, you're gonna yarn over, you're gonna find the third stitch from this. So you're gonna go one, two, and three. So right there, and you're going to front post double crochet. Just like that. So now we'll be working into our current row and we are going to single crochet four. But again, since we just made two front posts right here, we need, we need to skip two stitches from the current row. So here's the last stitch that we worked into. So we're gonna skip this one and we're gonna skip this one and into here, we'll start our single crochets. So a total of four single crochets. That's one, two, three, and four. And your fourth one should end up in a chain one space. Okay, to start the next one, we will again be repeating what we did here, the two front post double crochets. And in order to figure out where we're gonna put that stitch, we're gonna count three again. So if this is the last stitch that we worked into from the bottom, we're gonna count one, two, and three. So this is where you will be placing that front post double crochet. So yarn over, go underneath that stitch and come back up and complete a double crochet. You're gonna be now repeating this one right here. So that means you're gonna prepare for a double crochet and you're gonna find the third stitch from the last one that we just worked in. So that's one, two, and three. So right there, place a front post double crochet. So again, we will be working into the current row and placing four single crochets, but you wanna skip two stitches because of these two front posts that we just created. So that means I'm gonna skip this one and I'm gonna skip this one and into this, I will be placing a single crochet and I'm gonna go into the next three for a total of four single crochets. And again, you should end up right here in a chain one space. We will be repeating these two front post double crochets one last time. So you're gonna prepare for a double and you're gonna find the third stitch from the last one. So you're gonna go one, two, and three. So that means it's this stitch right here and you're gonna go underneath that for a front post double crochet and you are going to complete. So to make the second half of it, again, count three stitches from the last one you just went into. So that's one, two, three, and you're gonna front post double crochet into that. So now you have three sets of those little triangles right here. So to work into the current row, we will be placing two single crochets. So that means, again, you're gonna skip those two stitches that belong to the front post. So you're gonna skip this, you're gonna skip that, and into here, you're gonna place one single crochet, 
and another single crochet into the next one for a total of two single crochets. To continue with this pattern, you will be creating the piping right here. So now we're over here. So that means this piping was done with a front post double. So you're going to be placing another front post double, but you're only going to be counting into the second stitch from the last one. So here's the original one and you're going to be going one, two. So into the second one, go ahead and place a front post double crochet. Just like that. From here, you're going to go directly into your Lark's foot track stitch right here. So that means you will be placing a treble crochet. You're going to find that skipped, that chain one space right here. And then if you look beneath it, this is the stitch that you hopped over in the previous row. So that means that's the stitch where the Lark's foot track is going to go into. So again, you're going to go underneath that hook and back up like this. Okay, so we'll be placing a front post treble into there. So for a treble again, you yarn over twice, find that skipped stitch, go underneath it from the front and come back up from the back like this. You're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. Just like that. You're going to work into the current row now. So you just made two front posts directly back to back. So that means you'll be skipping two stitches again. So look in the back here, skip this one, skip this one, and into the next one, just place one single crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, which is gonna be this chain one stitch right here. And into the next one after that, you will be placing one single crochet. You're going to continue to make the second half of this Lark's foot track. So that means you're going to go into that same chain again that we went into with the first one. So prepare, prepare for a treble. So yarn over twice. Again, go underneath that stitch and come back up. It can be a little bit tight here. Yarn over, you're going to pull through. You're going to yarn over and pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. And you just completed a Lark's foot track stitch right here. Okay, you're gonna go directly into the next piping, which was this one right here. So again, this is the border. The border is the piping, the Lark's foot, and the piping. And to end this row with the final piping, you're gonna place a um, double crochet. So that means you will be working into the let's see. So here we went in with one, two, three, four, five, the sixth one from the edge. So that means you're going to be working into the sixth th stitch from this piping right here. So prepare for a front post treble and you're going to yarn over. And from this piping right here, you're going to count six stitches. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right here is where you'll be placing that front post double crochet. So underneath that stitch, back up the left, and you're going to yarn over and pull through the two to complete your double crochet. And into this very last stitch right here into the current row, if you want to double check, you're going to skip two of these stitches. So you're going to turn over, skip this one, skip this one, and into this very last one, just place one single crochet. And you've completed the very first design row. So to start the next row of your pattern, you're going to chain one and flip. Every single time from this point forward, if you're looking at the back, you're just going to be making a return pass of single crochets all the way across okay so i'm looking at the back now after chaining one and i'm just going to go ahead and place a single crochet into every single stitch until the end 
So just be mindful that when you're working this return pass, you're going to come up on these chain one spaces right here. And you want to make sure you put a single crochet into those chain one spaces. Again, do not skip any stitches here. Just continue making a single crochet all the way down to the end of this row. I have completed placing a single row into every single stitch in the back. And again, I was mindful to put a single crochet into the chain one spaces. So that's really important if you want to make sure your chains, your chain count stays the same and your pattern doesn't start um, becoming slanted or anything. So to start the next row, you're going to chain one and flip. So we're at our border design here and we're going to do the border the same way every single row. It's a little bit easier now. It's just the very first design row that's a little difficult because you have to count from the chains. But for now, moving forward, every single time we come to the front posts, we'll be working into those posts instead of um, single crochets. So it'll, it's gonna be a lot easier. So after chaining one and flipping your work, you're gonna find the first stitch and place a single crochet. Then you will be placing your pipe, your very first piping right here. So that means you're gonna front post double crochet into that post. So you're gonna yarn over, go right underneath the post. See, it's a lot easier now that you have a post to work into. And you're just gonna complete a front post double crochet like that. Now, without any chains or anything in between, you're gonna continue to your next Lark's Foot Track stitch. And again, here's that chain one space and here's the stitch that you skipped over so you will be working into that stitch so for the lark's foot track again you're going to treble so yarn over twice go underneath that skip stitch and back up the top pull your yarn through and complete your treble by pulling through two pulling through two and pulling through two now to work in your current row, again, you're gonna skip the two stitches in the back because they belong to these front post stitches. So you're gonna look back here, you're gonna skip the next two. One, two, and you're gonna go into this one with one single crochet. Chain one, skip one, and into the next one, place a single crochet. Just like that. To complete the other half of your Lark's Foot Track Stitch, you're going to treble crochet into that same chain that you went into for the first part of it. Okay, so you're going to yarn over twice for a treble, go underneath that stitch and back up the top. It can be a little bit tight. You're going to yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two right here and you're coming up on your final piping design right here into the border of the border. So you're going to front post double crochet into that. So again, yarn over, sink your hook underneath that post and complete that double crochet. Just like that. And you can see how your border design is now starting to come along. Okay, so to start, working into the honeycomb stitches, you are going to single crochet one into the current row. But again, you made these two front posts, so that means you're gonna skip the next two available stitches, and that's this stitch and this stitch, and you're gonna go here with a single crochet. Just like that. Now you will be creating an X pattern. So that means you're going to front post treble crochet into these posts right here at the bottom. And you're gonna be crisscrossing them. So again, to start that front post treble, you're gonna yarn over twice. You're gonna see this set right here. So this is gonna be one and two. You're gonna go into post number two from the bottom up the top, and you're gonna complete a treble crochet. like that. From here you're going to chain or you're going to single crochet two into the current row. So you just worked one front post. So that means you need to skip one stitch back here and into the next two stitches you will be placing a single crochet each. So that's one and two. 
Now you'll be placing a from post treble into post number one right here. So again, this was two and this is one. So you're gonna yarn over twice. You're gonna go underneath that post, always from right to left. And you're gonna pull through and you're gonna complete a front post treble. So now you can see how it made an X pattern right here and it crisscrossed criss criss over. Okay, from here you're going to single crochet two, but since you just made this front post, be mindful to skip the next available stitch. So which is this one? So into these two, you will be placing one single crochet each. That's one and two. We're gonna repeating this for all of these honeycomb patterns. So again, this will be post one, this will be post two. So you're gonna front post treble into the second posts. Yarn over twice, go underneath from le right to left and continue completing that treble. Just like that. Before you create the next front post treble in post number one right here, you're going to be single crocheting two into the current row. So again, you wanna skip one stitch because it belongs to the front post. So you're gonna skip this one. And into this one and this one, you'll be placing one single crochet each. That's one and two. And now you can go back into this post number one with a front post treble crochet. Just like that. Single crochet two into the current row and make sure to skip one stitch. One, two, and you're coming up on your last honeycomb design here. So you're gonna repeat what we just did. You're gonna prepare for a front post treble, go into post number two and complete that front post treble. You're gonna single crochet two in the current row, making sure to skip one. So that's this one and this one. Now you can go ahead and complete the other part of the crisscross. So you're gonna front post treble into the post number one. And from here, you're coming up on the border design. So you are just going to single crochet one into the current row, being sure to skip one. So you're gonna single crochet one. You're coming up on the piping here. So you're gonna front post double crochet into that. Go directly into your Lark's Foot track stitch. So find that stitch that you skipped, which is right here. You're going to treble crochet into that stitch. and you're gonna single crochet one into the current row. So you just made a front post double right here for the piping and a treble here, so that means you need to skip two stitches. So look behind and count the two that you need to skip and place one single crochet in the next available one. Chain one, skip the next one and place a single crochet after that. Now complete the second half of your Lark's Foot track by doing a treble crochet in that same space. And then you're coming up on the border here, so place a front post double. And then to end every single row, you are going to single crochet one into the very last stitch. So this is what your pattern should look like so far. So now to begin the next row, we're gonna chain up one and turn our work. So again, we're looking at the back of our work here. So all we're gonna be doing is a return pass of single crochets all the way across. Again, do not forget to put a single crochet in the chain one spaces. So go ahead and just single crochet all the way until the end of this row. After placing one single crochet in every single stitch of the back row, you're gonna chain up one and turn. And into that first stitch, single crochet. Place your front post double into the piping. And 
going directly into the Lark's Foot track, go ahead and place your treble crochet into this skipped stitch right here. So yarn over twice and complete that treble into the skipped stitch. Just like that. You're going to single crochet one into the current row and again you will be skipping one and two stitches. So look back, skip two stitches and into the next one, place one single crochet, chain one and skip one and into the next one, place a single crochet. Complete the other half of your Lark's Foot track. So yarn over twice, go into the same stitch as the first part and complete that treble. With no stitches in between or single crochets, go directly into the second part of the piping here so yarn over and double front post double crochet into that just like that so we are now coming up on our honeycomb and we will not be placing any single crochets between the piping and the honeycomb for this row so that means we will be going straight into the design and we will be working front post double crochets so you're going to find this first one right here, this first post, and you'll be placing one front post double crochet into that. Okay, so now we're going to work single crochets into our current row, but since working single crochets into that row, we've done one, two, three posts so far. So that means you will be skipping one, two, three stitches in the back. So looking at your current one here, you're going to skip one, two, three. And into the next four, you will be placing one single crochet each. Again, skip three, one, two, three, and place one single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. So from here, you will be front post double crocheting into this post right here. So place a front post double crochet. And then find the next available post, which is right here. So you're going to be combining these two pattern or these two designs now. And you're going to grab this front post and you'll be placing a front post double. See? So now they're they merged. Okay, so now you're going to be single crocheting four into the current row, but you've made two posts so far, so that means you're going to skip two. So you're going to skip this, and you're going to skip that, and you're going to go here and continue with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now you're coming up on the second and third design, so that means you're going to combine this design with this one. So in order to do that, you're going to front post double into this first one first. Just a regular front post double crochet. And then you're going to grab this second one here with a front post double crochet. Like that. Now you're going to single crochet four, but again, skip the two. So skip this, skip that, and then into here, place one, two, three, four single crochets together, like that. Okay. So you're looking at your last post right here to complete the honeycomb design. So into that, you're just going to be placing one front post double crochet. And now you have these three X's right here. Okay, so without any single crochets in between, you're gonna go straight into your border design here. So you're gonna look at this first piping and you're gonna place a front post double crochet there. Without any single crochets in between, you're gonna complete your Lark's Foot track stitch. And here's that stitch that you skipped over right here. It's always going to be right underneath a chain one space. So you're going to treble crochet into that. Okay. 
Now you get to make single crochets, but how many posts did we just do? So we did one, two, three, so that means you skip three. You're gonna skip one, two, three, and into this one you place one single crochet, chain one, skip one, and into the next one after that, place one single crochet, and you're gonna complete the second part of your Lark's Foot track stitch. So you're gonna treble into that same stitch from the first one, and you're gonna complete a treble crochet. Go directly into your final piping design here with a front post double. And then always to end every single row, we place one single crochet into the very last stitch. So this is what your pattern should look like so far. Okay, so to begin the next row, you're gonna yarn, uh, chain one and flip, and this is your return pass row looking at the back, so just go ahead and place one single crochet in every single stitch. I've completed my return pass of single crochets in the back, so to start the next row, chain one and flip. So always start your very first stitch with a single crochet and then continue with the border design so that's a front post double crochet and then you go directly into a lark's foot track stitch so find that stitch and then you're going to single crochet so you skip two one two and then you place a single crochet there you're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and into the one after that, place a single crochet, and you're gonna complete the second half of your Lark's Foot track. So treble crochet into the same stitch from the first one, and just like that. And then after the Lark's Foot track, you go directly into the piping, so that's a front post double, and then you're going to single crochet one before you reach the honeycomb stitch for this pattern. So again, you just made two front post stitches, so that means in the back you will be skipping two. One, two, and into this stitch you place one single crochet. So for this row, for the honeycomb pattern, we will be making front post treble crochets all the way across. So you're gonna find this first post right here and you're going to front post treble into that. So for a treble, you yarn over twice, go underneath, always go from right to left for front posts and complete that treble crochet, just like that. And then you're going to single crochet two. Again, you just made one front post, so you're gonna skip one and you're gonna single crochet in the two after that. So after completing that, those two single crochets, you're gonna look at these next two posts right here, the ones that are coming up about to merge into each other. We're gonna help them merge with each other by front post trebling crochet into both of them at the same time. So that means you're gonna yarn over twice, and instead of just going underneath the first post, you're gonna also go underneath the second post, and you're gonna complete that treble. You might have to pull your yarn a little bit higher or longer, so it's not too tight and then you're just gonna finish with a treble just like that so now you can see that we pinched them both together and it just helps create a neater um, honeycomb stitch so from here you're going to single crochet two so again we just made this one front post so we're only going to skip one stitch and we're going to single crochet two one two now Using the same two posts, we are going to repeat what we just did and we're gonna be placing another front post treble crochet into those two stitches. So yarn over twice, again, go underneath the same two posts that we just did and place another front post treble crochet. So now you can see that this is starting to make an X, okay? So again, skip one stitch in the back and then in the two after that, place one single crochet each. So two single crochets, just like that. You're coming up on this same pattern again, so that means you're going to help them merge by front post trebling into both of them. So after um, single crocheting two, you're gonna yarn over, you're gonna go underneath that one, 
and you're going to go underneath the second one and you're going to complete a front post treble just like that you're going to skip one stitch in the back and then in the two after that place two single crochets so skip one and then you have one and two again you're going to repeat be repeating what you just did so in the same two posts again place another front post treble skip one stitch in the back and place two single crochets after one two and in this final post right here you will just be placing a regular front post treble okay so to get back into the current row right here um, skip one stitch and then into the next one place one single crochet and then you're coming up on your border design here so go into your piping with a front post double go directly into your lark's foot track find that stitch right here and then you're going to go back into the current row with a single crochet so you skip two because of these two posts one two and then you're going to go right here single crochet one then you're going to chain one you're going to skip this one and then you're going to single crochet into the one after that and then you're going to continue and finish the second part of your lark's foot track with a treble crochet and then go directly into the final piping with a front post double and then always end the row with one single crochet in the corner this is what your pattern should be looking like okay so from here you're going to chain one flip your work and make your return pass of single crochets all the way across I've completed my return pass of single crochets so to start the next row chain one and flip your work you're coming up on the border design here so in the first one always single crochet and then front post double into the piping and then coming up on the lark's foot track go ahead and treble crochet into that skip stitch right here and then you're going to be placing a single crochet in the back so you skip two one two and then single crochet right here you're going to chain one and skip the next one and then into the one after that single crochet and then you're going to complete the second half of your lark's foot track and then you're going to go directly into the next piping with a front post double And then you're going to single crochet two before you reach the honeycomb so you just made two posts so you're going to skip two one two and then you single crochet into the two after that one and two so for this honeycomb row we are going to be working front post doubles across so you're going to find this first post right here and you're going to be placing one front post double And then you're going to go directly into this next post here with another front post double so do not single crochet anything in between and then it's going to help them connect like that so now you're going to single crochet four across and you're going to skip the two posts that we just did one two and then you're going to be placing four single crochets one two three and four now you will be connecting these two posts so you're going to front post double into this one beneath you're going to find the next one and front post double into that and then you're going to go in the back and single crochet four so you skip those two chains of the posts we made one two 
and then in the next four after that you place one single crochet that's two three and four coming up on the final two posts here you're going to merge them too so you're going to front post double into the first one and you're going to go directly into the last post of the honeycomb and front post double into that and then you're going to go into your back row and then you're going to single crochet two again skip the two stitches one two and then place two single crochets after that now you're coming up on your border here so you go ahead and place your front post double you're going to go directly into the lark's foot track with a treble and you're going to go into the back row and single crochet one so skip the two one two single crochet one you're going to chain one skip the next one chain or single crochet into the one after and complete the second half of your lark's foot with a treble go directly into the piping with a front post double and then always end the row with one single crochet in the very final stitch so this is what your pattern looks like so far from here the pattern just continues to repeat and you can keep going until you reach your desired length so for my scarf I did not add any border design you can see here I left it raw on the bottom and then on the side I also left it with no border but if you want to you can go ahead and place one single crochet all the way around the scarf or you can place any other border design that you like but for mine I just left it the way it is and I just kept going until I reached the desired length of my scarf I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.